The New York Times published an explosive report last week that revealed Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein has been accused of sexual abuse for decades and even settled financially with eight women. He was fired from the company he co-founded, but the New Yorker released the stories of dozens of his accusers today, and one of them even includes audio from a police sting operation. Listen to this disgusting audio tape. Please come in on everything. I'm a famous I'm, guy. I'm feeling please, very uncomfortable right please now. Please come in now and one minute. And if you want to leave, when the guy comes with my Why jacket, you can go. Why you touch my priest? Oh, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. Are you please. used to that? Yes, come in. I will never do another thing to you. Five minutes. Don't ruin your friendship with me for five minutes. Actress Meryl Streep claims that even though she worked with Weinstein on multiple films, she had no idea that he was doing this to women. Actors like Matt Damon, Leonardo DiCaprio, Bradley Cooper, Russell Crowe, and many, many others who have starred in Weinstein films have declined to comment since the allegations came out. In fact, Matt Damon and Russell Crowe allegedly called a reporter on her personal cell phone to bury a 2004 New York Times story about Weinstein's payoff of one of his accusers. How many of these actors claim to be for progressive and feminist causes? And how many of them feigned outrage at President Donald Trump when the Access Hollywood tapes were released? Yet they can't manage one sentence to condemn this monster? This is unacceptable behavior, and Weinstein should be prosecuted under the law accordingly. It is sickening to know that a man with so much power has used it to silence, manipulate, and coerce vulnerable women to perform or witness sexual acts. Hopefully the media and other individuals will continue public condemnation of such evil criminals like Weinstein who harass women, especially in a professional environment. The fight is not over, certainly not in Hollywood nor in the media, and I can only hope that victims will continue to speak up about their experiences. And are we really supposed to believe that none of these Hollywood elites knew what was happening? With the number of high-profile women who have accused Weinstein of harassment, including now Angelina Jolie and Gwyneth Paltrow, it's nearly impossible that there wasn't someone who could have helped these women come forward. Many people have even considered this an open secret in Hollywood. Journalists revere Hollywood as the moral conscience of America, and now we find out that they were involved in covering up some of the worst sexual abuses against women. The reality is that because Weinstein embedded himself in progressive causes, so many people were willing to just look the other way. Remember that Weinstein pushed the film about campus sexual assault, The Hunting Ground, he attended the Women's March back in January, and he's been to a number of Planned Parenthood fundraisers, even donating hundreds of thousands of dollars. The message here is that as long as you don't commit wrong think, as long as your money goes to the right causes, you're free to be an awful human being because liberal Hollywood and the media will give you a free pass and just look the other way. The lackluster response applies to Democrats as well. Harvey Weinstein donated over $2.3 million to Democrats since 2000. That's 16 years. He gave hundreds of thousands of dollars to the Democratic National Committee, the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee, and other Democratic political organizations and politicians. Ten senators have given money back to charity. But a majority of politicians and groups have not given back any money to charity or otherwise, including the DNC, Harry Reid, Rahm Emanuel, and John Kerry. Weinstein's behavior is so problematic because he was in such a powerful position in Hollywood and he's also a major donor politically. Basically, he's an influencer. When the leader and founder of a large company treats women with such disrespect and plain criminality, it's likely that this attitude towards women and his behavior trickled down into the lower levels of the organization, meaning that this entire Weinstein company is likely very, very toxic. Luckily, we've reached a breaking point in this case where women finally felt established and powerful enough to come forward. But many women don't feel that they can do that when they're at the beginning stages of their career and are threatened with retribution for speaking up. And beyond just Weinstein's influence in the company, 
His major contributions to Democrats mean that his tentacles extended to politics as well. The worst part of it all is that Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, two of the biggest Weinstein donation recipients, have been silent and weak about the issue. Barack Obama had huge amounts of money from Weinstein's donations, and he's been completely silent on all of this. Hillary Clinton, on the other hand, received almost $39,000 from Weinstein. She stayed silent on the issue until today, when she came out with a three-line statement. Nothing regarding the huge amount of money that Weinstein had previously donated in her favor. Not even to mention his connections to any others he had spent the last 16 years donating to. Her statement that she came out today was this. Quote, I was shocked and appalled by the revelations about Harvey Weinstein. The behavior described by women coming forward cannot be tolerated. Their courage and the support of others is critical in helping to stop this kind of behavior. Okay, Hillary, that's what you're going to tweet? Three lines that you're shocked and appalled? I'm shocked and appalled at the brevity of your statement when you rode your 2016 campaign on championing women. I'm shocked and appalled at your failure to immediately donate back to women's causes with the money that you took from a sick, perverted Hollywood movie producer with lots of power and many years of experience harassing women. That's what I'm shocked and appalled about. Tim Kaine decided to weigh in with Allison Camerota on CNN. He had this to say about accepting money from Weinstein for his 2016 campaign with Hillary Clinton. He gave, I think, $39,000 to yours and Hillary Clinton's um, 2016 election effort. Uh, should that money be given back? Well, the campaign's over. So what, here's what's happening. You've you got to call out bad behavior. Anybody who sexually harasses somebody or anybody who uses their position of power, especially to coerce or intimidate somebody, that's, that's low life behavior and it's unacceptable. Um, and whether it's in government or media or, or business, it's unacceptable and you gotta call it out. I think a number of uh, folks who he has given money to in this campaign cycle are returning those funds. I haven't asked him for anything, he hadn't given me anything, but. But you're saying um, that money for your, for your campaign has been it's spent, over. it can't be given yeah. back. Yeah, it's over. Hillary makes how much money? I mean, she's going on a book tour right now. And Tim Kaine is going to say, oh, it's already been spent? Hillary, previous champion of women's rights, can't even play face and donate to a woman's charity? Never mind the fact that you lost your campaign to complete incompetence, Hillary. What a sick, selfish, and hypocritical statement that was coming from the mouth of your buddy and past VP pick. Hollywood is garbage, politicians are weak, and we'll see you next when you're whining in jail, Weinstein.